Dante's Boxer Nation, what's going on, guys? So Jose Venezuela, he finally got his revenge in a rematch with Chris Colbert, knocking him out completely cold in the sixth round. One of the most vicious knockouts of the year. With this win, it makes you wonder if now Jose Venezuela is going to be a possible opponent for Javante Tang Davis. After all, Javante Tang Davis' own trainer, he said that Javante's next fight will be a tune-up. Although I am wondering because Javante, he'll be making his debut on Amazon Prime, if that debut is going to put more pressure on PBC to put on a really big fight when it comes to Javante. I mean, we know we're not going to see Javante versus Devin Haney, at least not next. A lot of people believe Javante is going to fight Isaac Pitbull Cruz in a rematch, but I just think right now the timing of that fight makes no sense. After Devin Haney just beat a champion like Regis Progre, I think there's a very good chance that Javante might even surprise a lot of boxing fans and end up fighting an opponent that's on that level of a Regis Progre. I'm not saying that's going to happen for sure, I'm just saying there's a chance. Or once again, there's a possibility that he could be fighting against Jose El Rayo for all we know. The fight that makes the most sense if Javante is not fighting against a Devin Haney or a Shakur Stevenson next, which we know he won't be, the fight that would make the most sense for Javante would be against two fighters, either Teofimo Lopez or Vasil Lomachenko. We know now Teofimo Lopez is most likely going to be fighting against Jermaine Ortiz, and Lomachenko, there's talks that he's going to be fighting Cambosis, but money talks. And we know that if Javante Tang Davis and his team were to present Lomachenko a fight, there's a very good chance that Lomachenko would take the fight because it would most likely end up being a big payday for Lomachenko. After all, Lomachenko has been chasing Javante Tang Davis for years. And if Javante Tang Davis could be the first person to knock out Lomachenko, that would be a hell of a statement especially considering how competitive the Devin Haney versus Lomachenko fight was. Javante, he just revealed that he was going to talk to Al Heyman, so it'll be really interesting who Javante Tang Davis decides to fight next. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.